Now, this preface to the Wretched of the Earth begins uh, by discussing the very common characteristic or trait of colonization that is self and other. Now, this self and other is a concept which was given by Edward Said. Now, if you want to understand more about the idea of the self and other uh, in uh, colonial studies, you can you know refer to the link that has just popped up at the top of this video, Orientalism by Edward Said. Go through that lecture and that will give you a lot of idea about self and, the, self and the other. If you already know, we can go ahead with the lecture here. He talks about the self and the other. He talks about this binary division. He talks about uh, this worst division that was made uh, to the world or created in the world by the Europeans. Sartre begins with the description of the population of the world. He says that there are 200,000 a uh, million people in the world out of which 500 would be men and 1000 would be the slaves the natives and 500 would be bourgeois that is the division of the world 200000 500 would be men who are the men the self the europe that is how europe stated itself to be the self the masters of the world, the men, and 1,000 are natives. Who are the natives? The colonized. They would be the African, they would be the Indian, they would be the Asian, they would be Caribbean, they would be Australian. All these men who are colonized by the Europe are basically natives. And then between the natives and the men, there is a smaller class of around 500 million according to Sartre. They are bourgeois. Now, who are bourgeois? These bourgeois are middle class people. You know, those who are the type of middle men, you know, who have learned the language of the colonizer. They have known the characteristics of the colonizer. They have particularly been trained by the colonizer to help them communicate between the men and the natives. You know, this process is based on what Macaulay had to say in his famous minutes of Macaulay in context of the India that we need to create a class of Indians who would be you know in taste or British you know they should speak English they should wear English dress and uh, you know they would be the source of communication between the British and the Indians. So Sartre says that this is the model of colonization. And he begins by exploring this model of colonization. And he says that natives had nothing, but men had the word. What is word here? Word is civilization. Word is enlightenment. And word is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. These colonizers actually boasted that we are out in the world to enlighten the world, to educate the world. To make the world civilized because they considered the other as barbarians. So they had the word and natives had nothing. So what would natives do? They would use the word of the Europeans. And bourgeois, they were the communicators between the two. But then there is a change in the attitude. Sartre says that though West boasted of a lot of things in their pamphlets and in their uh, you know, manifestos of colonization or in defense of colonizations, but in reality, West had nothing to tell the Europe, uh, to tell the West, uh, to tell the East or uh, to provide East other than the bunch of lies. Their ideology, their philosophy was based on the hypocrisy and the lies. So those brethren, those bourgeois who would go to the Europe and get trained and come back to their own natives had nothing to tell to their brethren but lies. And these people, these bourgeois, you know, worked for a long time period for the West. When they educated them, they would talk in their language. That is the language of the colonizer with their brethren. But what they would tell them would be lies. Because Sartre says that Europe had nothing but lies. So these brethren, who, uh, these bourgeois, these middlemen of the East were basically walking lies. They had nothing to tell, they had nothing to give, they had nothing to say. So in the very first paragraph of this book, what Sartre does, he lays bare the real foundations of the colonization. He tells you this is what colonization was. 
This is how colonization functioned. This is how colonization worked. But suddenly the things have changed and the wretched of the earth has been written by someone. And Sartre says, now the, the attitude of the East is changing. And this changed attitude has got a different way of talking. Now those men, the men like Franz Fennan, who have learned English, who are well read, now they have started writing. But they are not writing what Europe or their masters had told them. But they are writing against them. They are raising voices against them. They are speaking against them. That is the important aspect of this particular book, Preface to the uh, Ratchet of the Earth. But then Sartre says that these kind of books do not affect Europe that much. Because Europe still believes whatever these few men in the colonized states say is not going to change the structure of our society that we have created for a long time. And he writes and I quote, After all, let them ball their heads off. It relieves their feelings. Dogs that bark don't bite. Uh, this is the kind of language that you will find here, you know, uh, Sartre using because uh, Fanon would also be using a similar kind of a language which is very aggressive, very violent in nature. So he says that dogs who bark don't bite. So Europe is still convinced that the books like Wretched of the Earth, the books like Decolonizing Mind, the essays like Abolishing Department of English are not going to be very effective, which perhaps some of the uh, people who are, you know, um, advocating for decolonization is not going to have that much of an impact, but is going to have a lesser impact. Let them write, let them speak. Who is going to listen to them? That is how Sartre introduces Wretched of the Book to us. Or the, he begins his preface to the Wretched of the Earth by discussing the model of colonization and then also hinting that this model of colonization is about to break, is about to collapse. And the reason for this collapse would be because people in the East have started raising their voices and people like Franz Fennan who have been writing the uh, you know books like Wretched of the Earth is going to have a long-term impact upon the ideology of the East and in return upon the ideology of colonization of Europe. Now we come uh, to the next subheading uh, of this particular preface to the uh, Ratchet of the Earth, our next important content of the preface to the Ratchet of the Earth, that is the changed attitude of the natives. What Sartre talks about is that the natives have changed their stance towards Europe. You know, previously, when uh, we saw a white man, a white woman, you know, people would just stop doing anything. They saw a white man, they saw a white woman, and that white man and white woman got noticed. You know, they would whisper with each other. They would not come close to him. Because they realize that he is a superior being. But now that attitude is changing to a great extent. And now what East, our third world is doing, he is speaking to East. He is saying to East that you are no more superior. You are no more better. And we do not care about you. We are more concerned about our own things. Your language English would be great. It's for you. It's not for us. Sartre says that third world countries have the three things to say to the Europe. And one of them is the humanistic claims of colonizers are woe, false, as they themselves are into the evil of racism. This brings in a contradiction in their claim of enlightenment. This is the first thing that Franz Fanon tells to the West. That what is this enlightenment, this humanism you have been talking about? Your best men are racial in nature. There is racism in their attitude. And you who tell us, the third world countries, that we are not civilized, that we have racial problems, that we have the problem of color, but the biggest generator of this racism are you. 
so your claims are of no worth. Franz Fanon talks about this in his book Wretched of the Earth and Sartre highlights it. The West, the East tells West that your philosophy of enlightenment is full of lies. It is full of hypocrisies and it is something that you just speak but don't do. There is a great contradiction in what you write and what you do. You say that there we do not create any racial differences but eventually you end up being racist in nature. And that racism has not gone over. In America, you will have racism even today with blacks and whites. And that is why you find recently that Black Lives Matter is trending in 2020. And this book is written in 1961. And the preface is written by a guy who died in 1980. But the problem, the racial problems have continued. And these racial problems basically exist in the DNA. And he, he says, Franz Fanon says, Sartre says that this is the first thing that East would tell the West. You are the liars. You are hypocrites. The second thing Sartre says that Franz Fanon tells Europe through the, the wretched of the earth is due to this contradiction, integration of East and West is difficult. The reason for no integration is the over exploitation of East by the West. Now, if there is this, you know, contradiction, you know, you say that we are out to enlighten, but then, you know, remember Humike Bahabas of mimicry and man. There is ambiguity in the attitude of the Europe. They want to reform us, they want to enlighten us, but simultaneously they don't want that we become like them. Now, if this is the attitude of theirs, so amalgamation of East and West is very difficult. The union of East and West is very difficult. These are going to be completely different worlds. So even if Europe attempts to change us, which in essence he doesn't want to, but what he wants is to make us slaves. And East is now not ready to be the slave of West. Third thing that uh, Franz Fanon has to say to Europe, according to Sartre, is now they have become more aggressive in their attitude. And they say, listen, let's waste no time in st sterile litanies and nauseating mimicry. Leave this Europe where they are, never done talking of man, yet murder men everywhere they find them. At the corner of every one of their own streets, in all the corners of the globe, for centuries they have stifled almost the whole of humanity in the name of so-called spiritual experiences. That's aggressiveness of Franz Fanon. This is a quote from Franz Fanon's Wretched of the Earth. They, they, you know, they keep talking about humanity, humanism, enlightenment, God, Jesus, Bible, civilization. You know, they would talk 24-7 about it. But the fact of the matter is that despite talking about all these things, they have been murdering men throughout the world. They have been murdering civilization throughout the world. They have been, they have been murdering cultures throughout the world. They have been murdering humanity throughout the world. So their claims of humanism, their claims of enlightenment, their claims of uh, abolishing of racial, racial differences is vogue. So this changed attitude in the East brings to the forefront a plan, clear no to European attitude, to European colonization, to European civilization, to European language, to everything that Europe perhaps boasted for. And that, no, is because of the hypocrisies of Europe. So that is the changed attitude of the East, uh, of the East, which Sartre talks about in his preface to the uh, Wretched of the Earth, or which he highlights. This is one of the aspects of the preface to uh, the Wretched of the Earth. And this is highlighted by Sartre here in this book.